Okay, try nine, day two. So I've tried to rep do this one a few times, but I've had issues with my software, everything ranging from mic problems to game problems to just technical problems. So hopefully we'll get this particular how-to done today. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So one of the questions I've been asked is how do I get the three activity stars on Raid Shadow Legends and they're talking about the clan activity stars so I'm going to show you so the first thing you want to do I have deliberately not done anything this morning aside from time and we're one minute and two x amount of seconds away from our first five minutes of time so the first thing you want to do before you do any of your dailies or anything else is go to your clan this one down here you want to go to members and you want to go to check-in. When you hit that check-in, it's going to turn to stars. There we go. I have now got automatically one star. The checklist for getting your activity stars is here. This little exclamation mark next to this chest at the top of your members list. So you go here. There we are. You have earned one star by checking in. You've got a checklist of things to do. It's the same every day. So actually just read three stars because your two stars count to it anyway so you've got to try and play 90 minutes of the game that's that's easy really easy it's this if it'll come up it's this and to get this you don't even actually need to be playing just leave the game up in the background so it's not as scary as people think just just let it run just let do whatever it is else in life that you need to do so our next one on the checklist and this is the one that confuses people is battle the demon lord two times in this case right. that is this is where it's confusing everyone goes to battle and they're looking for demon lord that's that's not what you're looking for what you are looking for is clan bosses the boss within there is called demon lord but it will change according to which one's unlocked so what it really should say is battle the clan boss two times because then it's less confusing for people so pick whichever boss type you want to do most of us are doing easy at the moment because we're new to the game we've only been here for about four or so weeks so let's go battle our level one easy because it wants me to battle normal because I actually have a high hit rate or had a high hit rate on this boss lately so I've already completed an advanced quest. As soon as this is completed, I've com completed one of those star quests. Continue. So I've only done 34k, which is rare for me, actually. Um, so I've got quick battle because I have actually done over 1 million point five damage to this boss. With this team, so I don't understand what's going on. There we are, look. So it calculates it here at the end, but I have actually done that in one round before, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but oh well, it's done. So that's that should now come up. Let me get out of here. And any more pop-ups? No, right, good. The only thing annoying on this game is the level of pop-ups. So that should now say, there you go. Right, battling the demon lord two times. They are done. So it's actually the clan boss then the others are relatively easy you've got to do them as part of your daily anyway which is why I say just come straight to your clan go straight to check-in saves you so much time and hassle so I've now got to fight in the arena 12 times and fight in the dungeon or um, campaign 20 times you can split that up it doesn't need to be 20 times in the same thing so we'll do those first then we'll go over to the um, dungeon so let's do five here uh, let's do five I know I need to do and I'll show you on the two star after this uh, I actually need that but I wasn't doing too well this week on this one we'll do multi battle let's do five so many filters on because I don't want junk I'm probably going to lose that seems to be how the wind's blowing this week even though I've completed it, apparently I'm going to lose. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the AI in the game. 
but it seems to ignore priority targets and go for all the ads. This is going to take a minute. I would like to speed this up, but I'm probably going to leave it. We'll see. If I think it's going to be too long, then yes, in the editing phase, I will have sped this up. Unfortunately, the gear is not of the level I would want, so it's going to get auto sold. You may hear some meowing in the background. Um, my cat has decided to come in from outside where it's wet and windy today and announce her presence. She, she loves to do that as soon as I go live. I don't know why. I mean, when I'm not live, she ignores me, but the minute I'm live, she decides she wants my attention. Three or five, this will be four or five now. So we're nearly done. I will say one of the things that does annoy me on this game is the level of pop ups when you log in. Um, I mean, yesterday when I came in, I had a total of 17, log uh, 17 pop ups before I could finally get to play in the game. Other days it can be less, sometimes I guess it could be more. I haven't sat counting them until recently. It's a little excessive in my opinion. You just do one pop-up if you can do a pop-up. I mean, I understand you need to do your sales things, right? But there is such a thing as excess. So, yeah, that, that's my main complaint with this game at the minute. I will give you a squiffy dry in a minute, cat. So yes, the cat is currently interrupting the stream. That's what cats do. She's not even that wet, she's got a sprinkling of, of raindrops on her hair. She's, yeah, I wouldn't even call it wet, you could brush it and it's gone. In fact, if she was to just shake herself, it would be gone. It's literally surface line drizzle droplets. Oh, the life of cats, hey folks? It's so difficult for them. Alright, so that's five campaign missions. So now we're going to do five dungeons. Just to prove to you that you can do it. Now let's find a dungeon I can actually do. Because I'm not very good at golem. <laughs> Need some of these, so we'll get some of these. We'll do five here as well.
There are times when you've got battles like this where it's sometimes better to do it manually than let it auto, but if you've got a battle this easy, just let it auto, it's quicker. You watch, now I've said this is easy, I'm going to get completely owned by the boss or something, and we're all going to laugh, because that's my luck. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm, I'm relatively new to this game. Um, I mean, I, ha well, I have played it before. I've played the mobile app version. Um, didn't get on with that, and that got it installed. And that's down to my phone, not the game. Um, so I thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to give this um, PC app version a, a, go, a, a go. Words, please. Right, so... The reason I decided to give the um, PC version a go was I actually play another game called Hero Wars. I mean, if others of you are new to the channel, we have some Hero Wars pet adventure maps up. Um, I will get around to the other two, I promise. Uh, it's just that this was a promotion there where if I played this for X amount of hours, I would get some gems in that other game. Well, I got those gems and I kind of stuck around on the game because this one is just as interesting in weird ways. And I say weird ways, it's interesting in the areas where you wouldn't think it would be, perhaps. I suppose it depends on the person. But I actually find it's one of the very few games that still has an element of strategy to it. Too many app games out there now are just shovelware. Uh, King of Avalon is among those where it was once about strategy now it's just about who pays the most and I think app games do lose their way a bit I get that they're supposed to make money that they are you know instant apps we're supposed to pay for the convenience and what have you but when you start to get rid of your low and mid-range spenders just for what we would call the whales of the game then you're gonna ruin your game and I'm really hoping that raid doesn't go that way because I do enjoy the strategy element to it. It lets you have a little think, but in a calm yet fun way, not a, you know like you would in day-to-day -day life where you have to strategically think your way out of stress every day or a stressful situation. This lets you do it in a fun, relaxed way, so it, it gives your brain a little bit of exercise, so you have to think. And this is mainly, I would say, in bosses where you have a disadvantage, for example, and it's better to manually fight so that you can make your characters focus on the main target rather than the extras. Because you'll notice here in this boss fight, they're going to go for his two side um, people first instead of the boss. Where if they went for the boss, the fight would be over a lot quicker. And if you're doing it manually, because if you don't, you're going to die the minute the boss attacks, you can use all your characters and get the boss first. And it's the same in the arena. Um, I will show you that when we go do the arena in a moment. Uh, what I will mean there is it's more to do with the power levels in the arena against other players. Um, the power levels are very deceptive. So it's a case of they don't accurately reflect the teams at all because they don't take into account the armor they're wearing. Um, and they most certainly do not take into account their skill sets. So I've got two more of these to do yet. So hopefully this will be over soon. I should be able to get two stars by the end of this video, that's that's the aim. But I want you to be watching the three stars because if you are in a guild, it is kind of essential that you try and get these stars. Even if all you can get is two stars, it's still activity. But try and aim for the three star tasks because if you can get those done, that's some good activity for your guild, which does account towards um, the power of the guild, some points for the guild, and some EXP for the guild, which ultimately gives you better drops and EXP and so forth. Unfortunately, most of my members don't seem to even bother with the check-in. I have a horrible feeling this is down to language barriers. Um, 
because they don't even communicate with each other and when I actually look out in our global chat the few actual chats I've seen that haven't been so and so's got this or acquired legendary that it's been in various other languages that's not English so we don't have the opportunity to select servers within our language range and there is no auto translate which would go a long way on a game like this that's, that's something King of Avalon did get right was the auto translate features even if it did poorly translate um, but it allows your team to communicate and this is causing team failing um, because you can't communicate with your team because no one knows where to find the chat for a start it's too out of the way quite often and with it not auto translating if they don't speak the same language as you you're not going to be able to communicate with them and they're not with you and this is a big problem now I don't mind multinational teams anyone that's played with me on other app games knows that I will quite happily mix with anyone from any part of the world as long as we can understand each other I don't like being in English only guilds because that you know it's, it's not very cohesive in the spirit of things so yeah it, you know I, I do like to have people from different parts of the world just because one you, you know you get that beautiful cultural mixing where you learn about each other's cultures and languages and you just don't get that if you're in a English only team for example the only culture you really mix with is other English cultures and they're all offshoots of the original English culture so it doesn't really quite work right so let's go and have a look clan members tasks now we are already at 19 minutes I've played the game for 30 minutes battle the demon lord done that fight in the dungeon or campaign 10 times now you saw we did five in each so you can split them up you don't have to do you know in this case 20 in the same place so what's our next one fight in the arena six times I think we can manage that for the video I'm not gonna sit here for 90 minutes to show you the three stars that would be boring not unless this game plays up again like it did yesterday um, <laughs> And that wasn't really the game's fault, it was more my software's fault. It, uh, everything that could go wrong did go wrong, and anyone that watches me on a Wednesday know, knows I normally suffer this badly on a Wednesday. We, so much so we call it Tech Wednesday. Go away. Right, so we want to go to the arena. Classic arena. Uh, let's see, now I was talking about power earlier, and how it's deceptive. 27k that hero there can be problematic the gold one same in this team the two gold ones are the problem but this guy in the middle here this blue one is even bigger problem and it says 26k now I should fight that on auto I honestly would not recommend it there's the heroes and all four of them are trouble for this team if I don't take out him followed by him it's, it's going to be awful. So I will auto, you, auto it and see how my team does. We can identify the troublesome ones for my team this way as well. I do find it's whoever goes first has the best chance of winning as well. As you see, the mage over here on the right is one of my problems, and this guy with the big sword is problem. Sorry, I, I forget their names. I've never been very good with names. So this guy over here is a problem. He's a problem. But now, because of the two problems weren't taken out first, because auto is rubbish at this, defeated. Now there is a chance, even if I do this manually, I'm still going to fail. And you know what? That's fine. So we'll take auto off, see if we can beat them manually. So we know who our problems are. We're probably going to die before we even get to fight. I'm going to target him and hit everybody all at once and try and knock some people off. We're going to do weakness on him. 
and have her heal everyone. So we're down to these two now. I stand a better chance, but still not a great chance. See, he, he resists now. So, up everyone. I'm probably still not going to get the chance I need. Nope, she resisted it. Not that I'm particularly surprised, to be honest. I mean, this guy is going to be a problem. If he does that big strike in a minute, it's going to wipe out my team. Oh, we survived. That's actually a little shocking. You see, sometimes you can do it manually instead, and that is actually often the better option. Now that is a close team, I'm going to be honest, that is a really good team. And I suspect, like me, it's probably their armour that's letting them down. So, as you can see, power is deceptive. Don't trust the power numbers on this. So this is a team much closer to my own here, 27k. It's a similar team to mine. The only difference is the war priest. There's my war priest. And they've got someone that gives them speed. So this is going to be difficult on the grounds that she's probably going to boost this lot. And then she's boosting their armor, where I'm boosting health over here. Which might not be a bad idea for me to edit round. And do the same thing. That's their aura skills we're looking at there. I mean, we are evenly matched, so we'll see how this goes, at least according to the power levels. There goes my reviver, so that's two team members down. actually a pretty close battle. He still stood a chance of winning while that hero was standing. So my preference, if I'd have done it manually, would have been to go for her, then him. Or him, and then her, these two. Although this one would have been reviving, I would have wasted her revival by taking out her, probably. Ah yes, the bane of my existence. Sun Wukong. It may shock you, but yes, I do remember the name of the Monkey King quite clearly. Not because he's annoying, but because he's actually a character that has long fascinated me. Okay, so I'm going to get wiped out at the first gate. This is rather obvious. And it is mainly due to Su Wukong. If he doesn't turn you into a sheep, he can annihilate you with his staff. It's scary. I'm going to admit, I find him considerably overpowered, but then again, that's the point of him. So even manually, I was not going to win that one. So Sun Wukong is my biggest bane in this game at the moment. And that's fine. We all have our bane. Mine is Sun Wukong. Really? I, I do not get why people do this. I mean, some heroes really can stand alone, but this one... I guess if he's faster or really powerful, he might be able to. He is a, a problem. But I think he's actually going to lose against my team, considering I have the same one in my team. So yeah, Blade Master is quite the uh, 
trouble hero if he's actually geared up enough. He's even worse if he's with Sun Wukong. trouble hero first. I could, what I refer to as a trouble hero is the hero that will cause me the most problems. I'm hoping they take out that mage. Thank you. Right, then we can focus on the tank guy. So yes, Keel is the biggest problem. For a lot of people he is quite the diverse mage so don't let the color of the heroes like blue and purple fool you either it all comes down to how they're leveled up theoretically this should be a team i can go against automatically but i have a feeling that dwarf is going to be my problem Kaladai in the background is telling me he's up against Keel and Sun Wukong. That's a nightmare thing. If you just add in Blade Master to that, that's super nightmare. Relic. Well, they've got the Relic Keeper instead of they, so that's the Lizard. Oh, is his name just Relic Keeper? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's the one that increases your speed and stuff. Yeah. Oh. That's a nightmare combo in and of itself. Oh, it's Battle of the Freezing Characters. Okay, so hopefully that should be the target for the dailies, because we don't want to be sat here doing this forever. So, let's go have a quick plan. And I have two stars, there we go. So, in the time we've been doing this video, the 30 minutes is clocked up, we have got Battle Demon Lord one time, done. As you can see, it's counting towards the three stars, look. Um, we've got battle six times in the classic arena. I did seven. Fight in dungeon or campaign. As I've shown you, it doesn't have to be in the same place. You can split it up between the dungeons and the campaign. In fact, I'd recommend you do this for your own sake because you get gear and potions and other items that you need to level up your heroes. And as you can see, I've, I've I'm nearly at the three star mark here, all I've got to do is fight in the arena a few more times and dunge do dungeons and campaign ten more times. But I don't want to bore you with watching these and I certainly don't want you hanging around here for 90 minutes. So that make your three stars your target. Remember the, the playing the game for 90 minutes, you don't have to physically play the game. Just leave it running in the background and watch YouTube, do your work, whatever it is you need to do. Just ignore the game let the timer tick up and it will give you the three stars all you need to really worry about is battling the demon lord which is basically the clan boss fight in the arena 12 times and the dungeons and the campaign and if you've got like i have the raid abilities just let the raids do it for you but that, that's all it is that's all it takes to get these stars done so it does annoy me when people just come in and like Sparky Palm here, I mean, he's done some stuff for the guild, but he's a good example. He, it's, been, it's been a day since he's been on, so it's been 24 hours since he last logged on, and he hasn't done his stars today. So I'm, he's, I'm not going to diss him because yesterday he did do, manage to do two stars and quite a few quests. So you know he is active, but he's just being a good example here for the moment. So he's not been on for a day. Now it takes every 24 hours these stars are reset and it's the 24 hours as of you checking in so make sure you try to check in at the same time servers do technically reset at midnight so do them at the earliest time you can to give you more time so i do have a fair few people here <clears throat> so i'm not picking on sparky palm that have not even though they've been here a few days they have never not even once logged in I do actually have a list of names I've written down, I know who they are, and if I don't see improvement in soon, I will be kicking them. Now there is another area our skilled leaders watch, 
and that's clan quests. So that goes here. Uh, for a lot of us newer players, a lot of these quests are out of our league. And you'll see how I know Sparky Palm is, has been busy. Oh, okay, so the quests have reset for the week, so that doesn't help. Um, so I can't show you that, but basically at the bottom it tells you who's completed what quests and who's taken what quests. I'm going to take that one before someone else takes it because that's an easy quest for a change. Uh, do 19 battles using multi-battle. I do enough of those. You've got a week to complete these. They're reset every Wednesday. Um, I do find this thing here, Clan EXP Earned, it's pointless. It never moves from zero. And a lot of these people here have, you know, especially Porthos, who's now got his one star, so he's obviously logged in now. Um, Kaladai is another one who works hard. There's Sparky Palm, although it's, it's not showing it today, which is why I'm, I'm picking on Sorry, Sparky, you're actually a good player. Um, it's not showing that he's been, or she, sorry, has been completing the clan quests. And this is apparently where we earn our EXP. It's this clan EXP thing on what we've earned never moves from zero. It doesn't matter what any of this seems to do within the clan, it never moves from zero. So don't bother using this to track the activity of your players or your productivity of your players in your guilds or clans or whatever you want to call them. Um, because it doesn't accurately show what's going on. So use the stars. You're going to find out who your active players are by your stars and if you're a high enough level in your guild or as a player you'll f start to find them appearing at the bottom i mean i can show you now where it says quest taken we've all seen people have taken the quest caladice managed to land two and i've three quests it's not showing me so he's going for the one that took me over a, nearly over a week i only managed to get this one done yesterday by fluke um, which is to upgrade an artifact to level 16. I can tell you now that the leveling up between 15 and 16 is a nightmare and is very expensive on your silver. Uh, earn a total of 500k silver from selling artifacts. Now he does that routinely. Um, upgrade th and level 3 ring or accessory to 16. I'm going to say this, Kaladai. Good luck. You're going to need it. To take on two of those quests, you're going to need it. So, yes, you know, don't worry too much. I mean, if you have come in and joined our guild, don't worry too much about taking on the quests. If you do, I don't expect you to complete a lot of these quests. I, I mean, I hope you try, but I don't expect you to be able to complete them because they are deliberately designed to be difficult. And for new players, a lot of these are out of our league. Not all of them, just a lot of them. I'm going to take that one as well. I do that one quite a lot. And upgrade. No, we're not doing that one. Six artifacts from the Golem's Peak. Mm, we're not doing that one. My luck won't go anywhere. I'll let someone else take that one. Play, place increased speed buffs in classic arena offense battles. Wins only. Nope. Get ten rare companions. Nope. Five, nine. No. I that one that is very difficult nope 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 don't have the stuff for that definitely don't have that in a total of spiders 10 you've got to be kidding wow um <laughs> okay so some of these really are out of our league at the moment Uncommon. I could probably do that one. So that should be my three li weekly limits. So back to where we're going. So yeah, we have two stars completed. It's counted towards our three stars. So all I need to do now is get some more arena battles, ten more of these, and wait some 90 minutes. So that's literally all it takes to get your three stars up folks is just these tasks um, hopefully that explains it to you 
If there's anything else you want to know, uh, please ask. I will look into it if I don't know it currently before I make a video, obviously. And um, yeah, and, and that goes to Hero Wars as well. If there's anything about Hero Wars you want to know, go ahead and comment it at the bottom of my Hero Wars videos. Um, anything about raid it's towards my raid videos although I don't you know I'm not gonna sit in police comments saying oh no you must only go to these videos it's just it's helpful if it is but you know if you want to ask it at the bottom of this video that's fine too I'll complete that quest at least um, so yeah I think my my only dislike about this game so far has, has been its pop-ups um, they've not been too bad today but when you first log in, my goodness, the pop-ups. I get that you need to push your promotions and stuff in these games, but there is such a thing as excessive pop-ups. It's like, we want to play the game, not go through about 10 minutes of pop-ups. Uh, so it would be easier if you put did it in a different way that gives us promotions where we can look at them, where they only pop up <coughs> once, that would be nice. So, you know, like you've got here, tournaments, events, whatever that is, probably some sale thing. Um, Let's have a look actually. It's, yeah, so it's this. We've got this in about three different places we can see this. Okay. So, yeah, just, you know, have it so that it comes up. I mean, so that, there we go already. Privilege pack, really. Everything seems to trigger a pop up. It's a little bit excessive. So, anyway, find a way where we can get a one off pop up that comes up every so many times. You know, it's like. If I come out of Tavern, I don't want to be coming straight back into another wave of pop-ups. Or if I come out of Guardian Ring, I don't want to be coming into another wave of pop-ups. I want to be getting on with playing the game, not playing click the X on the pop-ups. So that's that's been my biggest issue with this game so far. Otherwise, you know, the game's okay for a nap game. It's a pointless time waster, which is the point of these things. It's a little bit fun. And, you know, that's fine. I mean, I, I wanted to get into Shadow Legends sooner, but I just didn't have the time and my phone didn't like the phone app. So, yeah, sorry, it's a black view. My phones are picky. Uh, yeah, I'll deal with that later. That's to do with my arena coins, so I don't have to buy any today. That's good. So I try to play these games as a free-to-play player so that you can actually see how difficult it is as a low level spender to a non spender uh, I also like to do it because I, I'm one of these people that likes to build up I don't like to get the instant gratification I like to work for what I'm doing I like to feel like what I've done has been worthwhile so I will play things the hard way I will do this on purpose that doesn't mean I won't spend if I can afford to spend I will spend if I think the game is worth spending on and there are things on this game that I do actually think, you know what, that's, that's good value. So, you know, their packs aren't bad, it's just the pop-ups. It's the level of pop-ups that's the problem. So the, you can earn your own gems in-game. They give you plenty of opportunity for that. I hope they continue with that and don't go down the route other games have gone. Um, you can, you know, pick your own packs that you want to buy. I think that one shows you packs. So you can buy these instant packs. We're going to get the freebies because freebies are always nice. Where's that freebie hiding today? There, right. So and then we go straight away. Look, as if by on cue, I'm I'm getting assaulted by pop-ups. Right, that's another arena coin, and we want that one. Right, so. Tournaments, that's another good one. If everything doesn't go on the go slow all of a sudden. Are we about to go into a maintenance, I wonder? I know we are due our weekly maintenance, it's Tuesday, so. Claimed my silver. Yay, I might be able to upgrade some stuff. <laughs> Getting this silver is a nightmare. There's two ways to get it. You can earn it in-game, and of course there's the convenience of going to the gem shop and buying it. So you have 
multiple ways of earning in-game currency, I'm glad to say, and I hope they keep with that because I know many games that start with that and then gradually take it away. So they, they use the uh, drug addiction method of getting you started on something and then getting you hooked and then slowly taking it away. I, I hope that raids don't do this because that spoils so many games and of course then your population drops and then that's the end of your game. And this is why we call app games shovelware because that's they kill off one game with exploitative marketing and then launch another one and of course people are looking for a way to alleviate their boredom because they now have lost the previous app because it got unplayable and then of course they run along to the new app and start the cycle all over so i really hope raid shadow legends don't go down that path and that they stay as they are because it's a very good balance right now the only problem is the amount of pop-ups that is literally my only complaint with this game at the moment that and it's a little bit repetitive here and there, but hey, you know, every game's like that at some point, so it's, <laughs> you're never going to win with that one. Um, so yeah, overall it is a fun game. I'm um, not sure about, you know, fully recommending it, but you know, it is a, a fun app game that's a good time waster, and if you can get a clan that can communicate with each other, it's actually quite a bit of fun. I've got a grand total of two t guild members that talk to each other and only and they're online now and that's me and Kaladai and that's because we live in the same house um, but then there's Porthos and the others I, I mean I never see anything in the chats so everyone wondering where the chat might be if you haven't spotted it already it's up in the top right so as you can see this is pretty much our world chat nobody talks it's, it's just flooded with this and i really do think this needs its own announcement channel personally because it stops people using the global chats nobody talks nobody guild what's it or anything it's just you've joined this channel apparently it's the english channel well if it's the english channel can someone please explain to me why i keep seeing every other language but english in here now i've got no issue with other languages what i have issue with is there's no way to translate them I can pick any of these languages and quite frankly I have seen this um, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, There's two types of Chinese here, um, this one which I don't know what that is, I've seen Spaniel, I've seen Italiano, I haven't seen Thai, I have seen another one that isn't here. Um, but it would be nice if there was a translate. I mean, I like to go international usually, so I don't know why it's in English. Um, but basically, it would be nice if chats had an auto-translate function so that we could actually read what each other's saying, no matter what language we're using. Uh, that would be really helpful, especially in the clan chat. I mean, I've left this message, uh, and you can't see the messages that we actually had. Uh, unfortunately, I had to remove a player because I actually copy pasted what he was saying uh, into Google chat, uh, to Google Translate. I mean, you shouldn't have to do that when you're playing a game and he was being quite abusive because we wouldn't speak his language. So I had to remove him from our guild, sadly. Or her, um, I'm assuming gender, I apologize. That's not actually what I'm wanting to do. It's just old habit. Um, so yeah, you know, we've, we'd have to remove that person from my guild. I'm looking at other people here. I will be keeping an eye on their activity. Um, if I don't see improvement on some of them where they're not even trying to do the stars, they're not, not even so much as checking in, they don't even take clan quests, then I'm just going to take it that they're here to loiter and I will just remove them so that there's room for more active players. That's pretty much all there is to that. So hopefully we'll see how that goes. Um, and that's pretty much how you do your three stars. There's a few other basic gameplay things, so I'll show you this then. This is where you level up your heroes, you go to your tavern. Um, I'm not going to do it now, but basically I've got a whole bunch of trash heroes that I can get rid of to use to level up. You can use a... What, I, what we call expendable grey heroes, and maybe a few expendable green heroes who aren't that great. Um, just chuck them into here, you know, pick a hero and use them to level up that hero. I don't actually have enough silver to warrant doing that right now. So you go to your tavern to level up. I can get the 
upgrade from 12 to 3, what that is. I've never really managed to upgrade this very much, but you know, you can sort some stuff out here by earning these. There we are. Arena medals are won in the arena. So you, you come in here and use your arena medals to upgrade some stuff. That's what you earn them for, so I should probably upgrade all of these because I haven't done it yet. There we go, I'm out of medals now, so I've at least got some stuff. And of course it's also taking me to the tournaments, go away. I don't want to go to the tournaments, it's slow loading today. Right. Uh, the Guardian Ring, now I've upgraded this once as well. It's somewhere you can just passively level up some characters. Uh, I've got her and him. Uh, Altar of Souls I can't really show you yet. The market is where you get some random items. Obviously this is where you summon your heroes. I need to do some of these anyway, but we'll summon one. Oh, we've got a rare hero. I get her quite often, actually. Sorry, that's a common hero. She's blue. Sorry. Um, mine. Uh, it's another way you can own, um, earn gems, actually, but you can slowly upgrade it. Uh, so this is actually what I'm saving my gems for at the moment, is to upgrade that. Um, so between that and the Guardian Ring is what I'm upgrading at the moment, because I spent my first 300 gems starting a guild. Oh, what's the wrong one? Uh, in the market, obviously, you could buy some various things, ranging from heroes to gear to more of these mystery shards. Um, occasionally, there is actually legendary gear in here, so it's worth a check. You do actually have a daily quest that means you have to at least purchase one item from here every day. Um, I al almost always go for mystery shards because they're the cheapest and easiest things to buy and gives you a better chance of getting a decent hero. There's also sacred shards. You can, as I say, occasionally, as, as Kalida is telling me in the background, you can actually get sacred shards. I've not seen that myself, but I'm pretty sure he has. So, he wouldn't tell me otherwise. So, um, that pretty much makes it easy. Oh, and there's another way to get to your companion's gear. So, you go to your companions down the bottom, and you can get to their equipment there. I do need to give some of these some equipment. As you can see, they've not got the best equipment. I've not had much luck, but I've, I've gone for stuff that matches their abilities for now. I do plan on sorting out their equipment. Um, so we'll see how that goes, and I will show you that when I've got them all sorted. But right now they've got enough to keep them going, but it's not the best, except maybe him, who's who had the Blade Master, who had some legendary there. Okay, so again, if you want anything else answering these videos let me know um, some things I may not be able to answer until I reach level 42 I'm only level 36 at the moment um, as I said I'm still relatively new to the game but I'm sharing what I have learned and especially the simple how to's uh, if there are any how to's that you want me to do here on Shadow Legends or on Hero Wars do let me know and I will try and get those done for you or try and answer any questions that you may have that I might know the answer to. If I don't, I will research it and get a more accurate answer for you. Um, so yes, uh, do let me know. Um, as you know, I stream mini painting on Wednesdays. I do this over on Twitch because YouTube doesn't... It, it's problematic with the music. It keeps interrupting my streams, even though I have permission to use that music. Um, so I will be porting those streams across later on if they are worthy of being re-uploaded. Sometimes they're really not, so I don't bring the rubbish ones, or the really bad ones over, I should say. I do some, bring some rubbish ones over. Um, we also stream Fright Night Fridays, which is about 8pm UK time, uh, where we play horror games or ghosty related spooky games um, for fun. The aim being to see who can scream first, and if I'm streaming on Twitch, it's to see who can get me jump scared. I'm not an easy person to jump scare. Um, and then we do random gaming weekends where we play random games on stream for the weekend. That starts again at uh, 8 pm UK time. Um, I'm currently playing Witcher 3 as a uh, charity, cha charity challenge. I'm not allowed to change the game. 
until I've completed it, although this will not count for the Gosh stream week. Uh, I will be playing a selecting selection of different games for that marathon week. Um, then I will be going back to the normal schedule. All of our streams at current, streams and videos at current, are in aid of Elm Wildlife Rescue. Um, so please, if you can, donate to those. Uh, there's a QR code on the right hand side that takes you to the GoFundMe page for Elm Wildlife. Um, if you can't donate, please share. It's because Elm Wildlife are currently trying to relocate so that they can set up a permanent base of operations for their rescue rather than constantly rent from places that are getting so overpriced that you, it's just unsustainable. Um, so if you can help them, please do. If you can donate, that would be brilliant. If you can't, please share the link because even sharing it helps. I will put further links in the description below which will take you to the GoFundMe or to their Facebook page where you can check out the other things they're doing for fundraisers as well as news updates and other things that they do. Uh, somewhere in our main homepage you should see charities we support. Elma currently the first one on that list and you can see some of the work they do when they remember to make videos about the rescues or and obviously their priority is getting the wildlife better and released and they may not always have time to make videos which is fair enough. Um, so yes, do check them out. Uh, for those of you into mini painting, please check out Mike Moans. Uh, he should be in the artists section. Um, he has uh, tutorials on how to paint minis quickly, um, as well as other funny stuff that he does. And if not, check him out over on his stream on Twitch. Um, so yeah, I, I don't mean to advertise much, but yeah. I do like to give shout outs where they're due and thank you to MFCC Music for your awesome background musics. Okay, so if you do like videos like this, please give us a thumbs up. It helps us in the algorithm. If you want to know when, please, you know, these videos are uploaded or we're going live, hit the notification button. We don't have, as much as we're trying to st stick to a set routine, real life gets in the way and this is throwing up routine all over the place um, currently there are two active hosts um, which is me and Kilo so I'm Black Fox Kitsune Kilo Dragoon is the other host uh, this is a group channel for the Lone Wolf Clan we do have our own separate individual channels but honestly I focus all my stuff here lately because I am the last surviving member of the original clan so yes um, that, that should be it so remember like subscribe and thumbs up as usual I hate having to say that but apparently I need to remind you according to YouTube. So you have been reminded. Do it if you feel like it. So I'll see you on the next stream and video. Maybe if I can get another video up. Uh, if not, I think this is going up Tuesday. So I will see you Wednesday probably on Twitch for painting. Um, I do sometimes stream on Kick as well. But I'm giving Kick a break at the moment because of the bots. So you may see a video soon from me about scammers and bots and how they're becoming a problem. So I'll see you soon, folks. Have a good day, evening, night, whatever time it is where you are. And may you be safe and well, or as well as can be. And may you have more good days than bad days. Box out. <laughs>